Apart from the important learning the students receive in the classroom, many students in need to also get meals at school. And that has only gotten more urgent during the pandemic. The Aurora School District now has this special bus equipped with heat holding cabinets and a refrigerated drawer. CBS 4's Tori Mason live on that story. And Tori, we know the need is so great in Aurora right now. Jim, the need is so great that families are still driving through one of the district's regular drive through food banks that already closed. There are about 400,000 students in the Aurora Public Schools District, and 70% of them are on free or reduced lunch. Today, Aurora Public Schools wanted to make sure that those students and their families had a meal for Thanksgiving. I come er er every day after work to pick up the lunch for the kids. Since March, Aurora Public Schools has served 3.4 million meals to families like Sandra's. It's been hard. It's been very hard. I mean, missing work days and being uh, out of school with, I mean, trying to find daycare. It's a struggle more and more parents face as schools flip between remote and in person learning. Now, the pressure is on to make a dinner many can't afford. Shannon Solomon, director of nutrition services at APS, listened to driver after driver full of gratitude. We've heard a lot over the last, sorry, eight months. Yes, there is a need and we need to be here for that. In addition to turkey and all the fixings, APS also gave families food to get them to the next school week. The leftovers many grow tired of will not go to waste. Some of the stories that we've heard is, thank you, this helps with our grocery bill. We've had layoffs, we've been out of work. Solomon's nutrition team is here working for free. Thank you, drive safely, please. Thankful to be in a position to give. And that says something about the superheroes and how much they love the kids in this community. I'm blessed to be a part of it. So uh, who made all of this possible? Well, the USDA extended free meals for students until the end of the year. Now, as for uh, APS parents and the community members who were able to take advantage of this, the district actually was able to fundraise enough money to ensure a Thanksgiving for all. We're live in Aurora, Tori Mason covering Colorado First.